good morning everyone welcome back to Rouge Park Beauty um, I have an empties video I also just want to say if I look as though I'm a bit startled blinking a lot I'm trying out some new lenses um, they're toric lenses so anybody who uses contacts will know toric lenses if your eye happens to be the sort of a rugby ball shape Opticians recommend you have toric lenses, which I've had before and I hate them because I can feel them at the top of my lids and I can feel them now, but the opticians tell me that's what I have to have. Any opticians watching that maybe have other advice, I would appreciate it. Um, but anyway, the distance is great. I can see beautifully well, but they're not for close up. So it's a bit strange, um, really. I'm sort of sat further back from the camera and everything. So forgive me if I look a bit blinky and I'm just a bit put off today I'm conscious of my new lenses right empties we've got a few and then a couple of products that I've not been particularly happy with recently hold that thought I'll come back to those the first empty is Glossier it's the body hero and it's their um, body wash oil wash I love this it's got an aroli scent um, I don't find it too drying on the body it's just beautiful. It's not the cheapest body wash, um, but I would, I think this is my second bottle. Could be my second or third. I really love it. And I think when my spending ban is over, I will probably order another one because I do need a boy brow as well from Glossier. I don't use it all the time. I do tend to use Sopa Duper in my shower, but it's nice to just have something different. Maybe use this for an evening. It's not heavy, but it does have a sort of spicy finish and I love it. This is Beauty Pie Japan Fusion, the Hydra Prep Lotion. I use this in the morning after my cleanse and I love the scent, I love the feel on my skin. It's just so softening and beautiful. And I did order another one um, because I missed it so much. This is the Pharmacy Green Clean Cleanser. I think this is probably my third pot. Very lightweight, um, very quick to remove makeup. My skin feels soft when I've used it. Um, I do like it. It is one I would repurchase again at some point. Um, just a really beautiful product. Nice if you don't like really thick cleansers. It's very, very lightweight. This is the Nine Oil Cleansing Tonic from MV Organics. I love it. I use it as a cleanser. I use it as a facial treatment. Beautiful brand. I don't know how many times I've had this product. This was a PR, but it's one I also buy as well myself. Um, just a lovely, rich oil, and your skin feels amazing um, when you use it. Beautiful. This is from V Beauty London. It's the Hair and Scalp Nourishing Treatment. I did write a blog post about this. I absolutely love it. You put it on your hair and you just scrunch it up on your head and you wash it out later. Now, I have tried to use it overnight and I love it, but Betty and Craig both are so obsessed with the scent. Craig hates it and Betty would just not stop sniffing my head for a whole night. It's very, very peppery um, on me and it was just too overpowering for Craig. It was just like it was just there the whole time. So what I tended to do was when I was having a cleaning day, I would put it on my hair and just tie my hair up and get on with all my household chores. And then later in the day when I was all hot and bothered and I'd finished cleaning, I would get in the shower and wash it all away. But I have loved it. Really helped with the condition of my hair and just a lovely treat once a week for your locks. Um, Charlotte Tilbury, this is the magic cream which I've been using. Um, yeah, it's a nice moisturiser, but I do think for what it does, it is overpriced and I do think there's better out there. If you wanted a dupe, I would recommend probably, for me, the nearest is the um, Liz Earl Super Skin uh, Moisturiser, which I just think is very much like the texture and the finish, but so much better. But I liked it, it was a little sample. Any moisturisers that I don't get on with, I tend to use as body um, moisturisers. This was a sample and I absolutely loved it. It's the IT um, Confidence in a Cream. Beautiful. I actually bought a full-size pot because I was so impressed. This again is very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury. Very rich, um, creamy, but it just absorbs beautifully and leaves a really nice finish to the skin. Um, I loved it. So, you know, samples sometimes do lead you to buying the full-size product. 
This was a PR sample from V Beauty London Lavender and Lemon Cleansing Balm. I bought two full size products because I loved this so much. Really beautiful, removed all my makeup and just left my skin feeling so soft and smooth. Just a lovely, lovely product. Um, this is Miller Harris fragrance. I finished it this morning. It's the Vetiver Insolent and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I love Vetiver but I do find this there isn't a sort of sweet undertone on me that's the only downside when I initially spray it I love it but the long term it just doesn't quite hit the right notes oh not meant to be a pun but there you go but it's a lovely fragrance just not quite I do like heavy spicy but I do like to have like that sweetness hidden away um but yeah Miller Harris I mean they know what they're doing with fragrance right three moments of the first one is benefit and i know a lot of you love this just my personal opinion it's the bad gal bang mascara um it certainly gives you the lashes it does um i just found it spiked them it clumped them together and i've heard from a few people who've lost a lot of their lashes now i don't know whether it's the product or the removing of the product that has caused the loss of lashes because it's a swine to remove you do need a separate eye makeup remover and you do need to be very very patient and gentle to get it off um i would say be very very careful with it um because i can imagine being rough it will almost snap your lashes it dries very hard it i just don't like it simple as that i've tried it i've carried on with it i know a lot of people love it that's great that's what beauty is all about it's you know each their own not for me now this was not cheap it is the Victoria Beckham um, collaboration with Estee Lauder and it is her it's her morning aura moisturiser which I didn't mind the packaging is divine I found it really drying on my skin um, this time very very drying I have had a break and obviously used other products even when I've used oils, serums, I just haven't liked the finish and the texture. I'm very, very disappointed. I will probably use it through the summer because it does give a sheen. I'll probably use it when I start getting my limbs out in the sunshine. It won't go to waste, but it wasn't worth what she charges. You're paying for the name, we know that, but very disappointed. And my recent story. Now, this isn't a hate. This is a it happens and another time it won't happen it's just where my skin is at the moment and I have I know I've done it and I think I've just I've had so much going on other things happening life stuff going on and I haven't focused as much on my skincare and routine I've just sort of been doing it um, but I've definitely over exfoliated my skin so currently I'm not using a liquid exfoliant at all other than using the Hydra Prep um which isn't an exfoliant but i am using a lotion of some description but not an exfoliant so i've over exfoliated my skin which has stripped it so it's dried it out a little bit which i think is part of the reason that's not so great it's just not working on my skin as it is currently and also retinol um i was using retinol every other evening and again it was drying my skin um they weren't used in conjunction with each other but it was just another product and it was the pestle and mortar superstar which i love generally i don't have a problem with but as i say i have overdone it with my skincare exfoliating and other products are reacting to how my skin is currently so this was a bit of a a downer um so i will keep it in my routine at some point because i've used it for a long time and it's usually fine so currently no retinol no liquid exfoliant i am just cleansing double cleansing using my hydro prep lotion and i am putting a serum an oil and a moisturizer on my skin and that's kind of where we're at um currently and then i will change it up and not exfoliate as often um just how it is you know sometimes other things take over and you kind of lose your track i'm pretty good at keeping on top of my skincare but i was just going through the motions and i kind of realized one morning i thought yes 
you need to realize what you've done Rebecca um, so there we are not saying there's anything wrong with this as I say it's what I've done this I believe is reacting to the fact that I have overstripped my skin and it just doesn't like my skin as it is currently but I've never been I liked the glow from this but I've never felt it was the all singing all dancing um, for me I think things like the IT cream the Liz Earl super skin cream give you the same beautiful glow without the price tag simple as that so that's my empties for April um, regarding the no buy I have done my minimum spend with beauty pie um, so that's done and I'm fine with cleansers I'm fine with just about everything else so I'm okay we're going okay it's tough there have been a couple of things a couple of things I've thought oh but I've been really good really really good and I have gone onto sites and put things in my basket and actually thought no you're not going to do it so I'm really proud of myself but we're not there yet you know I'm not making any promises and my lenses are starting to settle so I'm feeling a lot better however it is a pain not being able to see close up I have to say but it is lovely to be able to see distance quite clearly that's super right thank you for joining me on my bizarre journey of empties and contact lenses and overstripping my skin should know better but we all make mistakes there you go thank you for joining me everyone and i will be back soon with another video bye for now